So, welcome back to Roby's Sofa, where we discuss topics of the day and things that will generally improve your life. And what I wanted to discuss with you today is the idea of collaboration and why it's super key and super, super important that you actually use other people rather than getting stuck in your own mental bullshit and and not get to solutions so i'll start with a really simple example of something that actually happened to me uh super recently uh which is relating to marketing so i recently tried to use facebook ads to attract more strategy sessions right now i track them through facebook and through uh youtube so just organic means and immediately I, I had trouble with it. And the reason I had trouble with it is because I've never did it before, uh, not, not to that use at least, and I got really stuck and I felt really frustrated. So for three days, four days, my self-esteem was kind of lower. Uh, I felt really bad about myself. Uh, I felt like, why am I not reaching my, you know, the solutions? Why am I not moving forward? And, um, and again, really, really just frustrated and, and it's a bad feeling. And then uh, I remembered one of my principles, which is to collaborate, to do a mastermind, to use other people's brains and leverage other people to get what you want. This is one of the most important things I've learned from Dan Pena, uh, which is really easy to forget. And I wrote a really extensive post about my situation. So where where I was, uh, what's my problem, what's the situation, what's the goal. And I posted it in a couple of groups on Facebook with really good people. Immediately, uh, within an hour, I had over 15 people who each commented uh, their advice on how I can move forward. Some of them even went ahead and actually messaged me and offered me different solutions, offered me to talk to them on Skype and offered to help me. Some of them for money, some of them quid pro quo. So, you know, you give me something, I'll give you something. And, um, and immediately like the fog behind that cleared up. So any, any field in life where you're experiencing that sort of problems, uh, again, could be your relationships, your business, your health. Um, instead of trying to focus to deal with it alone, outsource it just let other minds who are competent so of course don't come up to your mom and ask her you know about business advice because she probably doesn't know anything about it and you know people would be and she would still be happy to give you advice even though she doesn't know anything about it ask people who are competent so uh, you don't have to always pay you can a lot of times you can you can just ask a lot of people uh, you can ask your friends that removes that feeling of being stuck not knowing where you are how to move forward uh, so take whatever it is you're uh, having problems with at the moment, whatever it is you're stuck at, try articulating it as clearly as possible. And again, when you get stuck for a long time on these things, it starts to feel like this just the way they are, you know, like it just that's the way the problem is. It's it doesn't have a solution where actually it does have a solution. So you just need to ask people about it. Uh, so articulate it clearly uh, your problem. What's my situation? What goal am I trying to achieve? What problems do I have? Just like you would go to the doctor, you know, you wouldn't like hide info from your doctor. You'd say, hey doctor, I'm having trouble with, you know, this and this, and I've been feeling this and this. And, um, you know, there's no point in hiding it because that's the person that's gonna help you. So articulate it as clearly as possible and, uh, and just ask a lot of people, whether it be on, you know, friends of yours or in Facebook groups or, uh, ask maybe even your family could help or even strangers, but outsource it, you know, just if, even if it's bad advice, like let's say again, your family gives you bad advice, it's okay if you diversify and ask other people too, and then you have a multitude of advice to pick from. So I hope this advice helps you. Uh, let me know uh, if it makes sense to you. Let me know what you're dealing with that might help, uh, that this might help. And uh, let me know if there's any topic specifically that you would love me to cover. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on Robbie's couch uh, later, I guess.